John awakens an armadillo having previously saved the entire town. Ah, beautiful, beautiful sunshine. What a day to slay the undead. It's been a minute since I played this game, but who doesn't immediately throw themselves off the balcony causing shin splints? Is this my horse? Well, it is now. Whether it's mine or not, we ride off into the desert. Time to go cause chaos elsewhere. Bastard. Damn, this horse can take a hit. I guess that's why we have the double tap rule. It appears that was my horse. And no matter how many times I whistle, I'm ignored more than I was during my childhood. Appears to be some issues. Hey, hey you! Yo, what's up, my love? There's a lady of the night just randomly hanging out in her underwear in the middle of the desert. And I can't imagine they had SPF 50 in the early 1900s. And skin cancer is a very real threat. She wants a lift to the nearest town to avoid getting eaten. Uh, I'd love to, but my horse apparently doesn't want to listen to me. When my horse finally turns up, she changes her mind. I wanted to help you. It has nothing to do with your attire. Like every dodgy Uber driver, I'm carrying a rather long rope. I will help you whether you like it or not. Now tell me where you want to go. John's wife is uh, currently undead, so he needs... You know where I'm going with. This. Companionship and uh, someone to play Dungeons and Dragons with. That's all he needs, honestly. We ride to the nearby cemetery as there's an icon on the mini map. At the end of the day, that's how video games work. You probably don't need me to tell you that. Odd Fellows Rest. Oh, it's one of those graveyard things, isn't it? Have I got any fire bottles? No. Ah, that's all right. I got a double barrel. Can you stay there, please, love? It's man's work. I got some shit to do. So basically, I start to burn this coffin. That somehow alerts all the undead and they start to rise out of their graves. Burn the remaining coffins. I can do that. Although I briefly forget what game I'm playing. Oh, no, I can't dodge. This isn't stable. Okay. I burn the next coffin while the zombies form an orderly queue. Oh, it's nice of him to wait for me. Run, run, run. I burn the remaining coffins, then get busy with my double barrel. Next, please. That's until... Oh, shit! It's a feral! For those of you who don't watch my State of Decay series, ferals are basically my kryptonite. Double double roll. This speed and agility mixed in with my dodge aiming makes them a force to be reckoned with. Reload, John. It's okay, boy. I'm here to kill you. Oh, God! Nope, it looks like I'm here to get fucked up. Oh, shit! Would help if I could hit something. Well, that was closer than I care to admit. Odd fellow's rest. Cleansed. I spent 10 minutes pointlessly looting the corpses. Ooh, shocking ammo. Because secretly I'm a massive hoarder, and the thought of leaving one valuable behind gives me anxiety. Good to see my new friend is still on the back of my horse. Although disaster strikes as I leave the cemetery. Oh no, it's okay. Look, it's, it's, it's only fire. You'll be fine. I've burned myself so many times. It turns out everything won't be fine. Wait, hang on, where's she gone? That's all right, I'll save you. That's because John's a good guy, not because he's a massive simp, all right? But while searching, I get an even bigger surprise. Oh, what the fuck is that? A zombified mountain lion. Ah, I'm stuck on a cactus. Realizing the idiot he's dealing with, he then fucks off up a mountain. Piece of shit. Crutchy's ranch. I do wonder how everything just becomes on fire in the zombie apocalypse. You know what I mean? Seems a bit unnecessary, boys, I'll be honest with you. That's why when I become prime minister, I will make sure that all the dead are buried without matter in their pockets. We ride to Fort Mercer to meet up with Nigel West again. He's up to his old tricks and trying to flog a tonic that'll stop you from being eaten alive. It's fair to say it doesn't go too well for this lad. So he tasks me to fix it, but I only read the second part of this message and head straight to Tall Trees. Well, I say straight to Tall Trees. Out of interest, will these guys shoot me? I mean, I have a rule. Dead didn't witness anything. Now this guy hasn't realized he's a maniac on the loose of a gun. Moving on from the genocide of my fellow survivors, we ride for tall trees. Well, at least we try to. Oh, fuck, fuck's sake. What are you doing? Why are you a dickhead for? I meet some adorable doggos. It's doggies. Doggies. But they're very generous with their sacrifice. Ooh, undead wolf teeth. That's going to be handy, surely. I can make a pretty necklace. I also love the way that my horse has completely abandoned me. I mean, there's undead doggies about. There's a damsel in distress. Even a ma'am, I'm here to save the day. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my days. John, do a barrel roll. Stay down, you prick. Right, is she gonna give me something good? Unfortunately, my recording software glitched, but she gave me two revolver ammo. What a lovely lady. We continue our journey north when I come across another stranger. Hungry? Yeah, I am, actually. Apologies to any vegans watching, as this guy likes to eat straight off the boat. Last week, I was telling Dingle here to lose weight. Now, I'm glad he did. Yeah, bet. Then we learned something new about John Marston. Wait, John's actually eating? <laughs> Oh shit. The boy's got such a weak stomach. What a pussy. It's mental that I never knew this was actually in the game. I do need a new mate, so... You're screwed. I wouldn't say you're screwed, John. Come on. My new friend gifts me a new toy. Ooh, I've got a volcanic pistol. And pistol ammo. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Well, what the fuck is this horse doing? Get back here, you prick. We'll call him Canny. Come on, Canny. Let's go. John and his new friend Canny the Cannibal ride off into the sunset. Or whatever nondescript time of the day this is. Let's be honest, it can be quite hard to tell the time in the apocalypse. We ride through McFarlane's ranch, and it appears they've been a Attacked by the same arsonist zombies as the rest of New Austin. I didn't help these guys out previously. I save Bonnie McFarlane. But I remember the last time I decided to help someone and John's not a simp. So he carries on. Nah, maybe we should now. Me and the cannibal dude. We gotta talk to a lady to see how we can help the town. And John takes this opportunity to show off his alpha man strength with a pull-up. My ammunition's almost gone. Please tell me you're happy 
No, I got nothing, mate. Come on, doggo. Me and you. We'll take all these bastards down. Kill the remaining undead to save the town. I can do that, even if they are on fire. Look, they're even running away from me. Right, trick shot. Oh no, you can't fire from the hip on this game. Town has been saved. Fantastic, right. Now I can go rob them. Is it really robbery? At the end of the day, I did save their lives. Every good deed deserves a payment. Don't blame me, it's just capitalism for you. I'm so grateful that there's loads of chests about. As I walk past, Bonnie storms out of her house. And the first thing she does is throw her arms around me. But just because my wife is undead doesn't mean I'm not married anymore. So I'm like, get off me, you slag. She says she hasn't seen her dad for a full 24 hours. And he was last seen gathering the undead in the barn. Oh my god, love, come on. Fucking well did! Look for Drew in the McFarlane barn. I'm bringing my shotgun with me. Apparently I can't blast the door open, so I take a trek around the side. Hey, hey, Jesus, John. I know it might be the 1800s where you are, but in 2023, you're not allowed to do blackface battle, right? That's despicable. To get into the barn, John's got to show off more of his epic upper body strength. Hardcore parkour, do you want more? I find my way into the barn, but things aren't looking good for Bonnie's father. We're the barn of the undead. And this probably isn't the situation you want to YOLO. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh, this was a mistake. This was a mistake. Bonnie's father then tries to jump scare me. Ah, there he is. Hiding under the hay. What a silly Billy. The game tells me to put him down, which is completely the opposite to what John did at the start of the story with his wife and kid. I'd rather time up. Oh shit. Obviously, after blowing the face off my mate's father, I'm gonna search his body. I love the way he didn't treat his wife and kid that way, did he? Just tied them up and left them in the fucking house, like. I tell Bonnie the bad news, but I have even worse news for John. Oh, where's my cannibal friend gone? This is literally the worst thing that could have happened in the apocalypse. I carry on my journey to tall trees when I come across another damsel in distress. What's up, my love? But she must have had too much to drink because she's violently sick. Oh. And being hogtied will help prevent you from being sick all over that lovely dress. I got you, love. At the end of the day, right, if I'm keeping my wife and kid alive, Life. Might as well keep this random prostitute alive too. I try to take her back home so Abigail and Jack have a new friend. Ah, home sweet home. You can stay there, lover, right? Let me just uh, rest up for five. But sadly, she despawns when John has a cheeky nap. Oh, why do all my friends leave me? I then spend a ridiculous amount of time trying to get a shot off on my wife and kid. Sorry about this, Abigail. She really does have a bulletproof ass. If anyone knows where I can find some mollies to put through the window, please let me know in the comments section. Blackwater has come under attack by the undead hordes. That's unlucky for Blackwater, I guess. I finally get to tall trees, but there's more people that need my help. Man's in need to post. Ah, oh, really? I gotta save more people? God. Oh my god! The town has been saved, John Master. Slayer of the Undead. I find some pretty flowers to pick, then come across a big boy. Ooh, look at that big bastard. Hey, how's it going, pal? Now, in Red Dead 2, you can stand there. Oh, shit. Apparently, that's not in this game. But I did just one shot the fucker. An undead bear. One shot. Please get me out of here before more bears spawn. <laughs> They're quite scary. I hear this bloke screaming in the distance. And when I go to check him out, he's chatting some shit about Bigfoot. Apparently they eat babies, which isn't much better than what John did earlier. But a side quest is a side quest. And as an American, I take any opportunity to make something extinct. Kill six Sasquatches in tall trees. I can do that. I ride to the blip on the map, and you wouldn't believe what I discover. Oh my god. Is that what I think it is? It's a goddamn Bigfoot. Who would have guessed if you went to a mission area, the thing you're supposed to kill in said mission would spawn. Do I Tie it. I need a new friend. As we all know, I'm an out of the box kind of thinker. But that doesn't always go to plan. Apparently, my rope is too big. So I get out my double barrel, and if I'm being honest with you boys, the game's sending mixed signals. Stop locking onto him! Stay down, Bigfoot. Like all great predators, John shoots it in the back while he's running away scared. Can I loot these? Ah! You little prick! With one down, I head to the next area. Where you goddamn Sasquatch? And this time, I decide to run in down with my horse. Ha! you just been crippled, bitch. Right, kneecap him. I decide to go for immobilization, and maybe I can profit from his crippled corpse. Oh, really? Maybe that's their weak point. Just to be sure, though. On to number three to take us halfway through the genocide. Ah, there'd be another one I use. Stay down. Oh, I will open fire. He didn't stay down, don't blame me. I thought he was reaching for a weapon. For the fourth, I decide to try some undead bait. Well, ignoring my terrible aim, I'd say maybe it's not a mechanic. But just to be sure, I missed again. Sorry about this, mate. Wait, did he survive that fall? Just killed two more Sasquatches. Oh, look, there's one. Sick. The last one's a little more heartbreaking. Here he is. <laughs> After shaking off that headshot, he sits sobbing against a tree. But it's not because I hit his tear ducts with a bullet. Apparently, we've killed his entire family and caused the extinction of his species. I mean, if there was just six of you, mate, then obviously the species was going to die out anyway. I just gave nature a helping hand. He claims his species only eats nuts and berries, but I refuse to believe anything that large and hairy could be vegan. I won't shoot you. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I'll kneecap him. 
He runs it off like a champ, so I get my lasso out again. Wait, can I seriously hog tie him? I've got him tied up. But it doesn't give me an option to hog tie, so I do what I gotta do. Just to be sure. 